Hey, what's up, guys? Tech for Dummies RB here, back in TechForDummiesMedia.com. We cover the latest tech news, gadget reviews, and much more. Now, today I'm going to be doing another episode of Hashtag AskTFD, where you guys ask me questions on Twitter, or YouTube, or anything else, or any other social network that I'm on. And you guys can ask me some questions, and I'll answer them in our weekly Friday Q&A video. So I got some questions from my Twitter, as always. So make sure to go to Twitter.com slash TFDMedia if you guys want to ask a question. But I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started with the Q&A. So I'm going to go on my Galaxy S4 and get all the questions from Twitter. Everything technology asked, no 3 or 1 plus 1. Well, to say the truth on what I think, I would have to say the Note 3. The 1 plus 1 is quite an exquisite device and does provide outstanding and just mind-blowing specs but the Note 3 I feel has a more compatible interface that will more people will recognize uh, again the OnePlus One is not a bad phone I can't say it's a bad phone it's a really good phone and it does have great specifications uh, the Note 3 does have very beast specifications too the experience of both are equally comparable and they're equally uh, great if I have to say they're equally great but I just have something for the Note 3 because the Note 3 it has an S Pen first of all it has 4k video recording it has a 13 megapixel camera it has TouchWiz UI which uh, the software is made one of the main feature points uh, that actually drove me to liking the Galaxy Note 3 uh, so just in my opinion is the Note 3. If you're still looking for a good smartphone, uh, just not for the Note 3's big price uh, for over $199 or $299 depending on which carrier you get it for, uh, the OnePlus One is always a good device to get internationally from the new carrier OnePlus because they provide great specifications on this device. Jeremy Rochelle asked, what is your workflow for editing and producing videos? Now for editing and producing videos, my workflow is very simple. Basically, I use Sony Vegas Pro 11, my editing software, to do different types of transitions. To cut out parts that I don't want, I use it to add transitions to make my videos look better. I do color correction, I do an outro. Uh, that's basically my main workflow on, on creating videos. Uh, I usually just use a Canon PowerShot on a Targus tripod. So, basically, that's basically my workflow. I just, you know, work, I... Get, get the video footage from my camera, transfer it to my computer, open up Sony Vegas Pro 11 if I'm using my microphone that I use for commentaries or on a gaming channel, then basically what I'll do is I'll sync up the audio uh, in post-production and I will just do that and I'll do my normal splits, you know, cuts, overlays, picture-in-picture -picture format. Uh, that's basically my workflow of creating and producing videos. Hope that answered your question. Jordan Floyd asked, what keeps you inspired? What keeps me going on YouTube is the ability to have the inspiration of my dream. My dream was to become a tech reviewer, a uh, tech reporter reporting on tech news, and that was basically my dream. And basically, you know, that's what keeps me going. And, you know, just the ability to do this keeps me going and motivated every day to create more weekly tech videos for you guys. Uh, every week, making tech news today, reviews, uh, software updates, any type of videos that uh, you know I want to put out and I think would be good for the public to view. So basically, what keeps me motivated is just being able to do YouTube. Andrew Verigis asked, what are your plans for the future with full screen? My future with full screen is to create videos to share with the community and full screen has their new creator platform as you guys know if you're a full screen partner they have their new creator platform to help interact with people do collaborations with people near you to share your video content so people can view the content maybe you subscribe to your channel and they just you know have the premier global network they just have you know ways to interact with other users on YouTube. So my future with them is probably just you know been doing what I with the past year. Uh, just recently I passed the one year mark with full screen. Got another year to go. Then I have to renew my contract. But th with the future of full screen, I just will keep creating more tech videos for you guys every more every week. And you know it's just my passion. So with the future, again, that's what I'll be doing. Finally, TDC Tech asked. 
What made you start YouTube? I actually answered this in a Q&A a while back ago, but just in case you guys didn't watch that, or uh, the person asking this, uh, TDC Tech, you didn't watch that, uh, I answered what made me start YouTube, basically, was to, you know, for the ability that I had a, such a big technology background, I knew a lot of specifications, I like talking about tech, I love using tech, uh, you know, I didn't have the latest smartphone out, when the iPhone came out, I still had a crappy Motorola phone, you know, but as I saved up, you know, I got to, you know, more introduced to technology. I remember one of my first tablets that I ever owned, even before I even knew there was a tablet in the site, uh, was the Galaxy Tab 2.7.0, which was my first tablet that allowed me to create videos for you. So I said, hey, why don't I just start creating YouTube videos? Uh, I filmed some footage. And I added some effects. Then, as you start to know, I started to use the NCH video editor. Then, which eventually led me up to Windows Movie Maker. Then, which eventually led me to Sony Vegas Pro, which is my current video editing software. But soon I'm thinking about actually migrating over to Adobe. You know, it just really having been inspired with technology made me want to start YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Hashtag AskTFD. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please ask any questions you have. If you want to know two phones and why I think that way, maybe say you want to see between the HTC One M8 and the Galaxy S5. Which one is better? Uh, ask me that on Twitter using the hashtag AskTFD. I'm also open on Facebook and Google Plus if you don't have Twitter. And uh, also down in the comments as well as below too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to ask me some questions for next week. Q&A of hashtag AskTFD. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly tech videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Tech Productions.